yes class it's uh, number singular and plurals i am sharing the screen with you yes students it's number singular and plural on page number 29 yes class so today we will begin with singular and plurals a noun that denotes one person or thing is said to be singular in number okay like a boy plays with a ball so the example here given is singular as it is showing the underlined word is a boy okay the number is singular and in the second explanation second sentence you can see a noun that denotes more than one person or thing is said to be in plural number okay so in the first sentence it, it was a boy and in second sentence now it is boys and helping verbs also changes boys are we will not use boys is for singular we can use is and for plurals we are using r now formation of plurals how plurals are formed by adding certain alphabets or suffix first one by adding s to the singular like example word is b simply we have to add on the suffix alphabet s it will become bees house houses shop shops only s we have to add on then by adding second point es two nouns ending in s double s sh ch or x so the means of this line is that if a word ends with s double s sh ch or x those words will be joined at the last with es this will be the change okay jo nouns s double s ch ya sh wale words se end up hote hain unme humko place karna hai es then our plural will be formed bus s is given at the last it will be converted to es add on es and then we will get a new word buses okay then gas again the s is at the end gases bush sh is placed at the end now we will be getting the new word bushes okay bench ch is at the end of the word then we will getting the new word ch es benches okay yes now third point by adding es to nouns ending in o yes then class if our word ends with o our word spelling ends with o then we will add on es like mango the spelling ends with o 
we will join es to make plural mangoes tomato then it will be added with es and it will become tomatoes okay tomatoes then the fourth point in the fourth point by adding s to nouns ending in o preceded by a vowel and few preceded by consonant it means if our spelling ends with o or it is preceded by a vowel vowels which are which are a e i o u then we will add on s to those spellings okay like studio it is ending up with o and then we have to join o is the vowel then we have to join s portfolio again it is ending with o the vowel and we will join s okay yes so certain words are given here like kilo photo piano you can notice each word is ending with the vowel o and that o we have to just add s to make plurals pianos kilos photos radios cantos etc okay fifth point by changing y into i e s in nouns ending in y preceded by a consonant children consonants are the words in a b c d where our vowels are selected and they are kept aside vowels ke alawa jo alphabets a b c d mein hote hain those words are called consonants okay vowels are removed a e i o u and the remaining alphabets are called consonants okay yes so fifth point what is saying ki if in the word in the question it is given the word is ending up with y that we have to turn with joining i e s and it will form plural the spelling will be armies a r m y y we will exclude y ko remove karna hai and then we will join i e s it will become a new word with plural armies then diary again y is at the end we will remove y and we will join i e s diaries then sixth point by adding s to nouns ending in y preceded by a vowel if there is a vowel in the word then and it is ending with y then we will remove the y and we will add on s like essay you can see in essay the second last alphabet is a and at the end is y so it is preceded with a vowel vowel a so we have to remove y okay from there and essays again we will place on s after y it will become essays valleys in the spelling valley you can see last second word is e it is vowel and then you will add on s valleys monkey second last second word is e its vowel you will add on s at the end it will become monkeys key last second word is e vowel and is ending up with y you will place s it will become keys okay children these are the certain rules to frame plural words now next one 
पेज थर्टी पेज थर्टी Let me share with you. Yes, by changing seventh point by changing f or f e into v e s. If a word has been written with the alphabets f in the last, those will be changed to v e s, ending with f or f e. ठीक है जो भी वर्ड्स में लास्ट में एफ या एफ ई क्वेश्चन में आपको दिया जाता है एंड दो वर्ड्स विल बी चेंज विद वी ई एस टू फॉर्म प्लूरल्स लाइक काफ इट इज एंडिंग विद एफ एंड वी विल चेंज इट विद वी ई एस स्पेलिंग विल बी सी ए एल ई ई एस काफ लीव अगेन इट इज एंडिंग विद एफ एंड वी विल चेंज विद वी ई एस लीव knife the spelling is ending with fe in the last it will be changed with ves knives to form plural wife fe is placed in the last we will add on ves now now rule number 8 some nouns that end in f form the plurals by adding s to their singular form in some cases when the words are ending up with f we do not remove f instead of that we place s we add on s to form plurals like chief the spelling is ending with f but we have not to remove the f we will add on s it will become chiefs okay then dwarf dwarf again f is there and it will be add on with s and becomes dwarfs hoof hoofs and roof roofs ninth point by changing the inside vowels of their singular form now this is the rule in which we have to change the inside vowels like foot then double o foot is already given in the question it is also vowel but we have to replace it with double e the plural of foot will become feet okay now the vowel has been completely changed in place of o we have written double e goose in place of double o we will write double e geese mouse in place of o we will write i the spelling will be mice for plurals the spelling will be mice okay then tooth double o vowel will be changed to double e teeth rule 10 by adding s to the principal word of a compound noun compound noun are those words children which are formed with the combination of more than one or two words like commander in chief abhi you can see three words are combining so we are calling it a compound noun okay teen alag alag shabd isme jude hain commander in and chief so that's why we are calling it compound noun and for this the rule is we will add on s to the main principal word jo principal word main start up ho raha hai in that we have to join s commanders in chief second locker on lockers on passer by passers by okay so compound nouns are the nouns formed with more than two or three words 11th rule few nouns have the same form in both the numbers some nouns some words are words of noun 
are used as both the singular and plural they have the same form okay you can be used in singulars also can be used in plurals also like aircraft deer you can't write deers in plural that will be wrong okay salmon pine species it already has s that's why we will not add on s senses rains fish means amends hundred and way so these are the verbs the nouns that have the same form in both the number okay okay so class next 12 point Twelfth point: Some nouns are not used in singulars; they are always used in plurals. Specific some words are there which we cannot consider singular. Singular nahi mane chate hain. We always prefer them as plurals. Okay? They are always preferred as plurals. The first point is names of instruments or tools. which have two parts those instruments or tools which have two parts but they are one okay they are having two parts but they are used as one like scissors they are having two parts but we will not call them as singular scissors they are already plurals pliers tongs tongs uh, for chapati picking we are using tongs shears binoculars goggles specs they all are having two parts but they are considered plurals not the singulars b part name of certain articles of dress now in dresses also in some dresses also we are having the two parts like breeches pajamas drawers jeans pants shorts tights trousers because of two hands and two legs uh, we are having in clothes also we are having uh, the what two parts that's why these dresses are also considered as plurals and the spellings itself has s at the end of uh, these certain words like pajamas you can see s is there drawers you can see s jeans s is there so they itself has been placed as there and they are considered as plurals names of certain diseases children s is already placed there like measles mumps so these uh, spellings do not need uh, one more s to be placed on and that will be incorrect so already they are placed on with the s alphabet so these are considered to be plural b point names of certain games Certain names are also placed with the alphabet S. The spelling already contains S. Billiards, draughts, okay, already S has been placed. That's why they are considered as plural. E exercise, uh, E point. Certain collective nouns, though they are singular in form, actually, class, what happens when we are saying? that fifth class but the number of students in fifth class may be 45 or 50 uh different students are sitting but the class is one aapki class mein 50 students hain alag alag lekin class to ek hi hai section a ke fifth a fifth b so always the group the collective nouns are considered to be singular theek hai teams are having the players like A cricket team is having eleven players. So, oh, eleven की वजह से हम ये नहीं बोलेंगे कि cricket teams like teams तो फिर different होंगी. लेकिन जो team एक बनती है, that is the singular team. 
ऑफ इलेवन प्लेयर्स तो जितने भी कलेक्टिव नाउन होते हैं दे आर ऑलरेडी कंसिडर्ड एज सिंगुलर इन फॉर्म एंड कैन बी यूज एज क्लूर सेंस मीन्स कैटल The cattle are grazing. Cattle is a group of animals, variety of animals. Cattle. So now we can use, we can consider in sense. In the plural sense, हम उसको use कर सकते हैं. That's why we are putting are. The cattle are grazing in the field. The people. बहुत सारे लोग. The people were. That's why we will use were, not people is. The people were not ready for the change. okay they are used in plural sense but also they are thought mentally in a singular sense collective nouns okay now f point certain nouns though they are plural in form are singular in meaning uh used as name of a subject or a science now look the point what if certain nouns are plural in form like civics s is already written physics is already written the spelling already contains s aise subjects jinme already s placed hota hai they are already seen as plural usme s put karne ki need nahi hai but they are considered to be singular subject civics एल ऑलरेडी एस प्लेस्ड है लेकिन हम उसको सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट मानेंगे बिकॉज सिविक्स इज अगुलर सब्जेक्ट बहुत सारी सिविक्स नहीं होती सिविक्स इज अगुलर सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स उसमें एस ऑलरेडी प्लेस्ड है लेकिन हम उस सब्जेक्ट को सिंगुलर जो है सिंगुलर डिनोट करेंगे मैथमेटिक्स फिजिक्स एस ऑलरेडी दिया है बट द सब्जेक्ट इज सिंगुलर इट सेल्फ ओके so class this is the difference between e point and s point e and f now some words uh, you can see here civics physics politics mathematics economy every subject is having s itself in the spelling okay but it is written in plural form it is as considered as singular because ye har subject apne aap mein ek hai okay ek different subject hai that's why okay class